Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day nine of Vlogist. You'll notice there was no day eight of Vlogist. <laughs> it's because I was out all day and I didn't really cook anything. So I'm gonna cut in a little snippet here of what I had for lunch, because I went to a Japanese restaurant and I just tried to make the healthiest choices that I could. So as you can see, I had a little salad, some avocado salad, some edamame, and uh, some vegetable tempura. So if you're eating out, just try to make the healthiest choices that you can. You can't always control everything that you put in your body all day long. And I know sometimes you don't want to cook or you're out somewhere and you just can't cook or you're somewhere where you just have no control over the ingredients. So just try to make healthy choices. That's what I did yesterday. Thursday in my house is traditionally pasta day. So we're going to have pasta for dinner, but I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. So we may just make spaghetti with traditional tomato sauce, or we may try to make something a little different. We're on our way to the supermarket now to see if we just see anything interesting that inspires us. So I hope you enjoy today's recipes. Well, I'm not sure what form dinner's gonna take yet, but we needed some crushed tomatoes and some tomato paste. And I like this brand called Cento. It's a local brand, but I think you can get them everywhere. But some mushrooms, got Needs to replenish our garlic supply, bought a new fennel bowl, got some bananas, and I picked up this Doni's peaches and cream biscotti because I figured once in a while in the evening I just need a little cookie and it saves me from wanting to have a big dessert. For lunch I'm making a salad wrap. So I have these flour tortillas, I have a Greek salad that I bought at the farm market, and I'm going to add some hard-boiled eggs. So where do you see this contraption that I have? <laughs> it's an egg slicer. I think it, it was my mom's. I think it has to be from like the 50s or something like that. But we're just wrapping them up in a tortilla and that is lunch. It makes a really tasty, nice, healthy little sandwich. So in this pan I started with some red pepper flakes and I put in some Italian seasoning and a little bit of olive oil and I let the pan get warm and then I add a little bit of white wine and I'm just boiling the alcohol off for that now and then I'm going to add some tomato paste and water and then after that I'm going to add the crushed tomatoes and then spice it up the way I want. This is a basic tomato sauce. melting down the paste with a little bit of water. Gives it a nice thick base. So I've added some salt, some pepper, some oregano flakes. I'm adding a little bit more water just to clean out the can here. And I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And then I'm just gonna put it on a very low heat and then leave it until dinner time, which is not for another two or three hours, depending on what time we eat, probably three hours. It smells so good. Well, that's it for today folks i hope you enjoyed today's recipes if you've never tried to make tomato sauce for pasta at home i encourage you to try because it's so easy and i think some people think that it's some kind of voodoo that italian grandmothers do in the kitchen <laughs> but it's really easy and it's actually really cost effective 
and I don't make it the same way every time but you can see how easy it is when you watch this video uh, today I made it with some white wine and I didn't put any garlic in but sometimes I put a lot of garlic in sometimes I use red wine sometimes I put some onion in I make it different every time so you just learn to make a basic sauce and you can jazz it up however you like <laughs> So I hope you join me tomorrow. I'm going to go watch the Eagles' first preseason game. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know exactly when my videos go live. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>